Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Far Away. In this video I'm going to show you how to spray candy uh, step by step. There's a couple of little tips and tricks that I'm going to be showing you. So uh, go through the entire video so that you can see them and uh, learn how to spray candy. It's not that difficult. I know that uh, there's a lot of painters that are afraid of uh, shooting candy because of the tiger striping or the blotching ass or all that but I'm gonna tell I'm gonna show you how to take care of all that okay guys I turned it around so that you can have a better look at it um, the first step is throwing down the base now the base can be any color you want uh, the best base for candy would be a, a metallic base that's what's gonna be popping out of that candy so it can be any color just as long as it's a metallic, the more metallic it has, the better. Now, if you use a metal flake, even better. Okay, so let me start applying the, the metallic base and uh, go from there. Alright guys, you saw me shoot the first and the third coat. It's pretty consistent. The metallics are laying down real good. So I was spraying at 29 PSI with a distance of about six to seven inches away from the panel. Okay, now what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna show you how to do a control coat. Uh, drop coat whatever you want to call it some people call it control coat some people call it drop coat um, that's what I'm going to show you how to do and what that's going to be doing it's going to give the metallics to lay down flat to lay down uh, evenly not leaving tiger striping or not leaving any blotchiness on the paint okay that's what the control coat is and uh, let me show you how it's done And there it is guys that's called the control coat now what I did I bumped up bumped up the the pressure to 31 psi the reason being is that I don't want the metallics to land dry okay you saw me shoot that uh, control coat farther from the panel that's allowing me to control the metal flake how it's gonna land on the panel hence the word control coat Okay, so I bumped it up to 31 PSI and did an even pass all the way around. And you will not get any tiger striping, any blotchiness, anything. Okay, you do that to the entire vehicle or whatever you're painting and you will not end up with anything. Okay, so that's, that's it. That's all a control code is. You're just controlling how the metallics are being laid down. Now, after that, after you shot the control coat, you shot the three coats of base, uh, I'm going to wait 15 minutes in between coats. I've been waiting 15 minutes in between coats, um, but I'm going to wait 15 minutes before I start applying the candy. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes will be recommended, but before that, you got to use a tack rag, okay? Use a tack rag on all the metallic areas and all the, the area that you paint it use a tack rag you'll see what comes out of the tack rag you'll see right now okay and that's gonna help even out all the metallics also Thank you. 
This is one of the reasons that you tech, uh, use a tech rag on the paint, on the metallic paint, okay? Because when you do the, the control coat, you're actually just misting the metallics. You're mix, uh, misting the metallics and that causes this. So you're just picking up uh, residue from the metallics. But other than that, it comes out nice. Okay, I got no striping, I got no blotching us, so it's ready, it's ready for the candy. Okay guys, the candy that I'm using is from Grant 7, and this, call, this candy is called Granty Wine, and this is a concentrated candy. Um, I didn't show you how to mix it because I already did a video how to mix this type of candy. Uh, I'm going to leave a link below to that, uh, to that video so you can go and watch it and uh, show you how to mix the candy, okay? Um, let's get all right guys the candy is being applied at 29 psi okay um I'm about five to six uh, inches away from the panel and I'm overlapping 75%. 75% it's being overlapped and uh, I'm just gonna let it sit for about uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, start applying the second coat. Also guys, the trick is not to stop in between panels just go all the way straight if it, let's say this is a car the the entire side of the car go all the way straight do not stop or you're going to start getting uh, tiger striping so you're going to start getting uh, darker areas in one spot more than others okay it needs to be consistent and needs to be even so uh there it is guys that's the candy applied as you can see nice and even no blotchiness no striping and that's the way you do it now um, all you need to do is top it off with the clear coat and you're good let me apply the clear coat um, as you saw that I was a uh, I wasn't stopping in between the panels um, I was going straight all the way across about six to about five to six inches away from the panel at 29 psi. Okay, uh, 75 overlap, and you'll get a nice finish on the can of the candy. There it is. Let me apply the clear coat. Now, I added three coats of candy. Uh, Actually, I added four coats of candy. Now, it's recommended from four to six coats. Now, you can add more, but you're just going to darken the color. The color is going to co be completely dark. If you like it that way, that's fine. Uh, you can shoot a test panel. I am doing that. 
right there. I am shooting one of the, these uh, speed shapes. So that's how I know that I'm uh, I'm good with the, the, the amount of candy that I want. And there it is guys. I just added two coats of clear because I'm gonna paint this. This is a cabinet I was gonna paint in, or I'm gonna paint in a single stage. But uh, I use this cabinet for showing you how to spray the candy. Okay, and there it is. I added two coats of clear and uh, it came out nice. Okay, this kind of candies in the sunlight, I know that the camera doesn't do any justice, but in the sunlight, it pops it really pops so um, that's the way you shoot candy guys that is the way you shoot candy uh, step by step the 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 pressure the distance and uh, control codes everything okay so I hope you like this video guys if you did give it a thumbs up also don't forget that uh, giveaway that I'm gonna be doing for the two guns and uh, guys, this will be it for this video, guys. Uh, hit that little thumbs up. Share the video. And uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And guys, have a great weekend. And God bless.